Mary and Month of May. Benita Jobi inspires us with practical ways of bestowing honor on Our Lady during the month of May. Benita Mary Jobi lives in Manchester, UK, with her husband Jobi Mundico and four children. It has been a long-standing custom to view May as the month of Mary. With May traditionally seen as the month for new growth and the beginning of summer, God himself taught us veneration of Our Lady when he sent an angel to ask her consent for the incarnation. The angel spoke her praise and also instructs us to tell of her grace. This practice of honoring Our Lady goes back 700 years in history. This month is characterized by the use of Marian hymns and beautiful flowers, which brings nature into our lives. There are many practical ways to honor Mary, as listed below. Pope Paul VI wrote a beautiful encyclical on the month of May, in which he describes how the faithful reserve this month to honor Mary in a special way. For this is the month during which Christians, in their churches and their homes, offer the Virgin Mother more fervent and loving acts of homage and veneration. And it is the month in which a greater abundance of God's merciful gifts comes down to us from our Mother's throne. May is a special time to let our petitions fly to Our Lady, especially for the needs of the Church and the whole human race that most urgently require her intercession. Our Lady is the Queen of Heaven and Earth, and at the same time, Our Mother. The month of May teaches us to love Mary most holy, for the glory she rightly possesses, and for all that she represents in the plans of divine providence. Praying the Rosary The Rosary is our most powerful weapon, and this is one of the best times to pray together as a family. May Altar Since May is Mary's month, the May Altar revolves around Mother Mary. Setting up an altar is as simple as placing a statue of Mary in the corner of the room and bringing in some flowers to place at the foot of the statue. Of course, you can make it as creative as you want and including children in this by letting children bring wild or potted flowers is a beautiful way to foster in them a love towards Our Lady. May Crowning Crowning a statue of Mary and processions in her honor are very popular in parishes in Britain and in the USA. May crowning involves putting a statue of Mary on a pedestal, singing some Marian hymns, and placing a crown of flowers on her head. This little shrine can be kept going through the month of May with fresh flowers. Laying flowers before Mary's statue is deeply embedded in Christian tradition and can be done along with the hymn, O Mary, we crown thee with blossoms today. Some Catholic brides also used to lay their wedding bouquets at the feet of Our Lady after their wedding ceremony to pray for a blessing on their marriage. Mary's Garden Mary's Garden is a garden filled with flowers and trees named in honor of Mary and her son Jesus. This reminds us to experience God's creation and invites prayer and contemplation. As you plant your garden, you can ponder on the many flowers and plants that evolved from various Marian names and characteristics. Flowers are linked to Mary in Christianity in many ways, either through Marian names or various legends from the Middle Ages. Early Christians believed that fragrant herbs and flowers reflected Mary's spiritual sweetness and soothing and healing herbs reflected her heavenly mercy, while bitter and sour herbs mirrored her bitter sorrows. Some examples of a few flowers with their scientific and Marian names are Rose, Rosa, Mystical Rose. 
Baby's Breath, Gypsophila, Our Lady's Veil, Lavender, Lavendula, Flight into Egypt, Calendula, Calendula officinalis, Mary's Bud, English Daisy, Bellis Perinus, Mary Love, and Marigold, Mary's Gold. Rosemary is a perennial herb with a pungent taste, which is used in various soups and marinades. Mary's association with this herb comes from the flight to Egypt. Legend states that on their journey, the Holy Family rested under a rosemary bush, and Mary spread her cloak on it to dry. For this humble service, the plant was named Rosemary and God blessed this plant with delicate blossoms in a heavenly blue color. This is also considered as a symbol of remembrance and fidelity from the Book of Our Lady's Garlands. Pilgrimages Another way to honor Mother Mary in this month is by visiting a Marian shrine. If this is not practical at this moment, a recollection of a previous pilgrimage will be a wonderful way to honor Our Lady. Some shrines offer devotions this month which might fit in your schedule. Saint Teresa of Avila says, The devotions we practice in honor of the glorious Virgin Mary, however trifling they be, are very pleasing to her divine Son, and He rewards them with eternal glory.